Hey guys, we're back for round two of our sealed league here. We're gonna keep, we got a bit of a weird one, but we're on the play. We've got uh, an aggressive two drop here. We've got this skin invasion. Technically speaking, you could play this on the Bloodseeker and discard two things, but that wouldn't be worth it. Oh, okay. Super aggro mirror, huh? Okay, so this we might board into our control strategy. We'll see. Oh. Okay, so he's obviously got something here. Um, if I had a three drop uh, to play, I think I would block there, but Tormenting voice, okay. Alright, I'm gonna put skin invasion on that guy, and then when he attacks with it, I'm gonna puncturing light it. Four. Okay, so he's not that aggro. Maybe not. I don't know. Or he just drew the wrong half of his deck so far. Okay, so this is going to be great. I'm going to have these. And back to my turn. Slam Inspiring Captain. Attack for a billion -y. And, well, six at least. And have three creatures versus none uh, on the board. Seems like okay. It's not the straight up nuts, but it's very good. Okay. That doesn't technically stabilize him. Is he going to attack here? That would be very bold. No? Okay. Okay. Um, I don't really want to discard any of my cards to Bloodseeker. So I think I'm just going to attack with those. And if he makes this trade, fine. We're still really ahead on board, and I'm going to play the Arsonist. So. That's fine. I'm sure we're giving him clues here, but... We've got a lot of pressure on him, so he might not have time to really take advantage of that. No fifth land? And obviously if we draw land, we'll play this Tormenting Voice. Okay. Oh, so he's trying to hit a land drop. That's why he did it main phase, I assume. That's Chump. Okay, Pacifist. All right. He could threaten a double block here. Okay. Hmm. 
Yep, okay, I figured as much. Smash for six. All right. Really need to draw, I mean, we did just draw like a bunch of mountains in a row. So hopefully we're past that glut of mana and we can get something. Geist Blast would be great. Um, our own uh, duelist would be amazing just to finish this game out. Got him on the ropes. Just need to push through the final bit of damage here. Reduce to ashes. Okay. Well, he tapped out for that. Purge. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't do twice. <laughs> Okay, we got him at one. So if he plays a big blocker or something, we can purge it. Okay. Interesting. All right. Oh. Um, all right. Stop drawing lands, please. We just need to do one damage. Gibbering fiend. Ha 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 ha, that's lethal. Yes. <laughs> Gibbering fiend for the win. <laughs> that's awesome. Opponent's deck is pretty good. Um, we're going to be on the draw. Do I want to switch it up? Oh no, this other deck is pretty bad. Wait, do these game me life? Um, the other deck is pretty bad. All right, maybe I'll try this deck on the draw. We'll try it out. We're ahead of game. We can always switch back on the play. Maybe he boards against the red-white deck and we get lucky. <laughs> and this takes him totally by surprise. I don't know. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Okay, um, can we keep this one with two white cards and no white mana, and, um, I mean, I guess we can do the old warp landscape for planes routine. Yeah, we're on the draw. Maybe we just draw planes or something. Okay, we draw an island. All right, we draw another island. But our hand is full of removal spells, so it could be worse. Mysteries, okay. It's a pretty cool card, but it's pretty slow.
byway courier. Okay. Alright, so here I'm going to play Trawler. We have to be conservative blocking because we don't really have a lot of um, wind conditions. <laughs> So it's feasible to just take here. Okay, now it's really feasible to just take. Okay, so here I'm going to go compulsion on that thing. Play this vessel, pass back. Okay, snap attack, all right. We won't trade here. Tormenting voice, teaching forest. It's an interesting play when you've got on board draw spells that make you dudes. F and follow up nothing. Um, okay. Well, here I feel like we attack. Oh, wait, no. Because he can make two tokens. Let's just attack with that. Dance with the devils, okay. Um, that is annoying. In response, I think I will cast to the slaughter. Okay, he could block with one and trade it for a zombie, or he could double block and kill both of my guys, no? Well, he could kill either thing here. Alright, so I shouldn't have attacked into that. I guess that was obviously something. We just need to hit some lands here. Alright, I'll take that block. This is actually, all these tokens is actually kind of good against what we're, what my plan was here, so. Um. God, what are we going to do? Our removal spells look terrible against all these tokens, really. I can sack this and trade for two tokens, but that doesn't even seem great. I want to 
to kill that. Okay. Well, rise from the tides is going to be ginormous, but oh my god, it looks like we're going to die well before that happens. Okay. Oh wait, that was totally dumb. Yeah. I totally did that wrong. Okay. Well, we're going to go back to our primary deck. Do I have a dual shot or anything to kill 1-1s? One one's? Oh, man. Hmm. I don't really know. Alright, this hand is very slow, and it has a big chance of whiffing. I don't want to mulligan, though. I don't know. Mm, great. That sucks. Oh, man. That's going to be very, very bad. Okay, well, it's a little better. Hmm. All right. So, it's, this has become a race. Um, the good news is, I if he swings out here, I can just kill him. Like, if he taps out... Oh, God, he's got the devils. He's just, like, you know, very obviously has that card. Um, so I could just pass with puncturing light up. Play this geist that doesn't really do anything. If I attack and then I puncturing light one, I mean, they still both die. even if I give one double strike. So... I think I've just got a pass here. Inner struggle. Okay. God. So maybe he didn't didn't have it and I just got bluffed. Yeah, cuz if he had it, he would have played it right there. See now if he kills if I kill this, he can make a I got to kill it. Otherwise, I wasted my whole turn. Now he can make a 1-1 one, one that still blocks my vampire. Oh, or not.
Okay. Yeah, I'll never be able to get this vampire in for a hit. Oh, man. Okay. If he didn't think about it so long, I would have thought he had something, but... Well, at least now the devil's out of the bag. Ugh. Well, this has trample. I didn't even know that. Okay, now I want to get this thing down so I can go for some kind of fury kill. This thing is never going to get through, so I'm just going to waste it. I know that seems lame, but... So this turn, if I attack with the Kindred, I'll probably be tempted to just block it with the Devil. And then he'll take... three... seven. So he could be dead to that attack. Just take that.
Ooh. What happens if I just alpha? I think if I just alpha, he's got to double block the Ravagers. So, I mean, he can't block the Geist. The Kindred has Trample, and I can double strike it. <sighs> yeah. No guts, no glory. Let's go for it. I mean, we get wrecked by a removal spell on whatever we uncaged Fury, but otherwise I think it just wins us the game. No, that thing has menace, dude. You can't block that way. Two damage to that creature. That's pretty greedy. Okay, so I can double strike this or this. If I double strike this, then a pump spell gets me. If I double strike that, a removal spell gets me. Well, if he had a removal spell, I don't think he would have blocked this way. I'm going to go for that. GG's. Bam! No guts, no glory. Alright. On to round three.